Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior. In the last episode, we made it to Cantlin, and after exploring Cantlin, we bought the Flame Sword and the Silver Shield after a little bit of gold grinding. And then we got uh, Erdrick's armor and Hawksness and Erdrick's token and a little swamp. And then after that, we went and got um, the staff uh the uh, rainbow drops, which built the bridge now at Charlotte Castle, and technically we can go to the final boss now, but we're not going to yet, because I'm not ready for him yet, but there is a particular item I want to get in Charlotte Castle. Right now I'm basically going to run just on everything. Alright, so here, I'm going to oh. I'm going to continue trying to cast Repel as much as I can. Uh, I can fight a few things because I need to grind up a little bit anyway, so... But I'm not going to try to fight everything. But anyway, here... If you remember, somebody said there's a secret passage behind the Dragon Lord's throne. You need to go back over here and you search... And there's a secret passage! And this what actually takes you to where you need to go for the final dungeon. But like I said, we're not going to do that yet. Basically here, we just want to follow the straight and narrow path. To the stairs. Uh, remember, we had to fight an Axe Knight to uh, get the Erdrick's armor, so I'm really not... So here, I can actually probably fight these guys, because I fought them a lot while I was gold grinding anyway. They're not that, they're not that difficult. And three hits, I can take care of them. So basically here, just continue following the path. Oop, nope, bye-bye. So here, mmm. I'll fight the werewolves. They're not hard. None of these enemies are real hard at this point in time. Trust me, when you get further in, they will get a lot harder. Alright, so here... There's another linear path to some stairs. You see that uh, chest right next to us? Right over there? We can't get to it yet, but that's what I want to get. It contains something I really... Okay, Stone Man. Not ready for you yet. Blue Dragon! Oh my god! No! I did not actually mean to hit you. Run! They're stronger than Red Dragons. I mean, uh... Green Dragons. So basically just follow the path to the stairs. To the stairs. Alright. And you hear the music, it's starting to get really ominous and stuff. Alright, this is another straight uh, straight um, forward path. I don't even know why I need to pass the repel because it's not going to work anyway. And then just take these stairs. Alright, here you need to go all the way up and as far left as you can go and take these stairs. I believe. Hopefully I don't get too lost. Now here you just, I think you avoid those stairs and you go down these stairs. I could be wrong. Alright, yeah, I'm definitely wrong. That is uh, the way to the Dragon Forward, actually. So we don't need to go that way yet. 
So we're just gonna. That's the way to the Dragon Lord. We're not ready for that yet. Come on. This should be it. And then just follow the linear path to these stairs. And then to these stairs. And now we're on the other side. And we should be able to get... I think we're right next to where we need to be at. Ooh, he is really putting a hurting on me. Alright, here. Just follow the path. They're here. And there we are. And in this chest we get... Erdrick's Sword. The most powerful weapon in the game. Look at that. So now we're just going to cast uh, outside. Get out of here. That's all I want to do right now. And Sherlock. So, I'm going to go around Hoskness. And uh, outside of Hoskness, you can see how strong this thing is still. So much stronger. And it's time for my final uh, gr uh, grinding session. So, once I do this, um, I'm going to grind up to level 20. Up to level 18, I'm going to grind outside of Hostness and fight the enemies outside of Hostness. And, and then once I get to level 20, uh, 18, I'll go inside of Hostness and fight to level 20. And then once I get to level 20, We'll be, uh, ready to go. And I'll probably be able to do I might be able to go up to level 21, but 20 is probably about where I want to be at. So, once I get to Hostiness... I'll, uh, like I said, uh... Beat the enemies outside of Hostiness. I'm, looking at, I'm even beating the wolves and everything in one hit now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to meet. I'm going to go to Hostness, and I'll battle outside of Hostness. And then uh, every time I gain a level, I'll just show it to you real quick. Show you my stats and stuff like that. And then uh, and when I get to level 20, we'll make our way back to Sherlock and finish up the game. So I'll meet y'all when I gain to the next level. Okay, guys, uh, I w made it to level 17. Uh, let's see, get 7 uh, in, in response speed, 8 HP, magic of 5, and I learned a new spell. And it is the Heal More spell, which is going to come in extremely, extremely, extremely handy when we fight the uh, Dragon Lord. So one more level. Now I'll show you what I'm. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing to learn how the levels. So let's see. I gotta now reach 2,995 experience to reach the next level, so. One more level out here, once I reach level 18, I'll go inside the Hostness and bat start battling everything inside, so. Alright, I'll beat you back when I reach level 18 to show you this my stat gains. Okay guys, we're back. I found a little bit, a bit of a better place to grind at, right around Cantlin. Instead of Hostness and all that kind of stuff. All the enemies that were in um, Hostness anyway are around Cantlin. And I'm right next to an end so I can heal up if needed. But I went, made it. We came to level 18. And now I have 12 power. Response speed by 5. And HP increases by 15. And magic increases by 8. So I'm getting a lot more stronger. So I'm going to go in here and heal up and show you my max stats. Now... And then we'll see how much we need to do to get to level 19. So. I'm getting a lot more powerful now. See, I have a... Look at that stuff. And my stat is like that. I'm almost there. A couple more levels. So now I'm going to grind around. And let's see. With Graylin's love. She'll tell us how much we need to do to get to level 19. 2,965. So... 22,000 experience. So when I get there, I'll meet you back with my new uh, stats.
Okay guys, we're back, and I uh, got to level 19. That didn't really take too long either, so. Uh, Brown armor increases by 2, response increases by 2, and HP by 2, uh, and increases by 7, and we learned a new spell, which just hurt more. Go back to Cantlin to uh, heal up one more time. And then, uh, see how much we needed to get to level 20, which will be my final level I'm going to do. Alright, so let's see how much we need to do to get to level 20. I said it didn't really take me too long. So, 26,000. Alright, so. Once you get to 26,000 experience, we'll get to level 20, and that'll be the final thing I do. The final grinding, so. I will be back when I reach level 20, and then. I'll probably end the video, and then I'll meet y'all back at Charlotte Castle, where we'll start the final descent to fight the Dragon Lord. Okay, guys, we're back. I made it to level 20. Alright, so let's see. We get the cross of power increases by 4, response speed by 2, HP by 8, magic increases by 13. So this is going to be the final time we rest up in Cantlin. And then uh, I'm going to end the video, and when we come back, I'll be back at Charlotte Castle, and we'll start making our descent to the Dragon Lord. So, alright guys, so we're going to end it here when we come back. Like I said, I'll be back at Charlock, and um, we'll start making our way to the Dragon Lord, and defeat the Dragon Lord once and for all. So have a good day, I'll see y'all next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior. This is DKS3, the Crazy Gamer, signing out.